Hi everybody, it's me Brandy with Be Vintage Fashion and Decor and today I have for you my $5 box sale and this uh, is the, hopefully I, I should be able to get through all that, I don't know. It might be the remaining part of the boxes that I got from that storage locker from the jewelry hoarder from the JTV jewelry, um, everything new in box. And um, it's gonna just be, everything's $5 and was otherwise stated so, but I think everything in here is gonna be for sure $5. And um, the shipping is $5 flat rate shipping, anything under a pound, over a pound, and that's in the United States, over a pound, um, it just goes according to weight and where you live. And if you wanna cut back on shipping by not having everything shipped in their individual boxes, I can do that as well. If you're outside the United States, just let me know and it'll go off of weight and where you're located at. So let's just get started. My email is going to be at the top of the screen. It's also written right here, um, which marks kind of my center frame. Uh, bvintage74 at gmail.com. Just email me, let me know the item number of what you were interested in and um, that way I will uh, know what your what, what numbers you want. So uh, that being said, let's just get started. This one, it had a box, but first, I don't think it's the original box. I mean, the box is ginormous. This alone would cost you a lot of money for me to ship it to you. So I took it out of its box. So this one, we're just going to, actually, let me get a little baggie. We're gonna number the baggie and put it in a bag. It is 925 sterling. I did just measure it, and it measures seven and a half inches. The tape measure just fell, sorry, there we go. Seven and a half inches. It is marked here with a big letter E, and then 925 down here. So I don't know if you can see that. There's the E, the 925. I did test the center stones. I'm gonna test them again on camera. Um, and they are testing at, um, on the amethyst line. It goes up and then it goes back down. So give it a second. There we go, it's in the amethyst line. So sterling silver amethyst bracelet. Um, and this one is, this one actually is going to be $10 just because it is sterling silver and amethyst. I hate to start off my $5 sale with a $10 item, but um, just so you know. So I will actually number this one. I'm going to hopefully number them before I show you the item. So we're gonna start off this one and we're gonna do, um, let's do the numbers in the 70s because I believe my last sale left off in the 60s, um, but there's nothing really left from those, so it's not a big deal. We'll do this one for $10, like I said which is a great deal for a sterling silver and amethyst bracelet. Seven and a half inches, great little lobster clasp. Probably just needs a little shine if you want it to shine again. There we go, number 70. Okay, so let's get started with the other ones. These are all the ones in their boxes, and we're going to number this box, number 71. Most of these don't have their invoices attached to them. So some of them, I'm not gonna know what they are. So this looks like a gold tone chain. And let me just double check on the clasp here to make sure there's no markings. Beautiful chain though. Mm, I don't see any on that side. Oh, here, there is, it's stainless steel. It says stainless steel three, three, one. Uh, what is that number? It's like three, one, six, one, something like that. It's some kind of serial number. Lightweight. Um, so it's stainless steel with probably just like a gold overlay. Still new with tag on. And let me measure it to see what this measures here. It's, it looks like it's probably an 18 inch chain. Oh, it might be 24. I think it's 24. All right, so we're gonna go with 24 inch chain. Let me get the up close detail for you. There you go, very nice chain. 
And I believe there's a couple of these in there. So $5 for that gold tone chain. Let's see if this is one of them in this next box. No, this is something different. So that last item was 71. This one is gonna be 72. This is really pretty. And once again, I don't have the invoice with this one. Let me take it out or at least look to see if it's marked. I don't see any markings on it. But let's take it out of this plastic to see if there's anything on the chain. I'll just get rid of that. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the camera. Oh, so sorry. Okay, so here is the detail on the pendant. Very pretty, and my camera is still shaking. Hold on. There we go, sorry about that. There's even um, a really pretty stone up here. I believe these are nothing stones. They're probably just CZs, but we'll check and see. And this one, like I said, like the like most of the others, is going to be five dollars. Mm, no, I don't believe it's. I believe they're just glass. If I could get it on there. No, nope, can't get it on there. But I believe it's just glass. Let me look at the the clasp on this one and see if it says anything. No, I don't see anything on this one. Just a really pretty pendant on a gold tone chain. And this chain is definitely shorter than the last chain. Let me measure this one and see where it's at. This one is about an 18 inch chain. So probably about 21 inches with this pendant. It's a good size pendant. Lightweight too, not heavy at all. And this is like a creamy butterscotch color. Okay. Once again, new in box, makes great gift. That was number 72. So this one is gonna be 73. And this is its fraternal twin sister here. This one is the same thing. I'm just gonna leave it in the plastic. But this one has, um, instead of the amber color, it has a pink color stone around it and then a pink, like a really pretty pale pink center stone. Same thing, just different colors. Also $5. All right. Moving on, so that last one was the 73, and this one is going to be 74. This is another gold tone chain. This is a different, um, a different style than the other one. The other one was a little bit more boxy. And let me see if this one is also marked sterling, or stainless steel, sorry. It does look like it has that same mark. Yes, stainless steel 316L. That's a lot clearer on this one. So here, this one is more of a, um, like a twisted rope, twisted link style. Can you see that? There you go. Very pretty. Let me see if I can get the detail of the stainless steel. I don't know if it'll show up on there, but you can see that on the clasp. Okay. And measuring on this one is, whoops. Sorry, I have to hold it while I do it. Here we go. This one is like a 20, 21 inch, 21 inch chain. Okay. Thing just dropped again. So that was number 74. This is gonna be 75. All right. Oh, this is pretty. This one is also they're all new, but this one's also in the little bag. Let me take it out. Oh, that's really pretty. It's got some nice stones in that pendant. 
very pretty clear stones. Let me see if it's marked anywhere. Um, I'm not seeing a marking offhand on the pendant, but let me look at the the chain. The chain is marked nine two five on the um, clasp part of the chain there. And this is encrusted with stones throughout, most likely just some type of rhinestone. I'm not sure if the pendant is um, sterling or not, because I'm not seeing a marking, but it could be hiding somewhere. I'm not sure if this is accurate or not. Let's try it again. That one probably could have flown up there. Yeah, that one was flying, flying up there because I was hitting the metal. So it looks like they are just CZs in there. $5 for that really pretty pendant on a chain. That's how big it is. Probably about two and a half, two inches. All right, and that one was number 75. This one, I'm going to number 76. Sounds like a chain. A lot less rings in this lot. More chains and some bracelets, I think. This is another gold tone chain, very similar to the others. I can see it says the stainless steel right here on the clasp again. Um, let me just double check and make sure that's what it actually says. Yes, it does. So also gold overlay and um, lightweight again. And this one is um, more of a traditional style um, rope linked. And I'm trying to sit there and best guess what, how big it would be. Hold on, I just drop this again. All right, let's see what this one measures. This is an 18 inch chain. So this one is um, shorter than the others. Okay, $5 also for that one. Number 76, let's do a big box. It's gonna be 77. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I did see an invoice for this. Oh, what was this stone? Oh, I cannot remember. You know what, it actually looks though, look at the back of it. So it's it's dyed, I believe it's howlite. It's dyed howlite um, and it's dyed red. Very pretty, look at the, the detail on this. This is $5. Silver tone chain, um, I'm not seeing any markings on the chain. And that is a, nice size blingy pendant. And if you have a red outfit, that would be really sharp or even a black turtleneck, um, that would be really sharp. So $5 for that, the red Howlite. And you know what, there's a similar box here, so we'll just open that one as well. And we're going to number this one, 78. So this next one is 78. That last one was 77. Oh, this one is purple. So same thing, just in purple. Let's see the back. The back of this one is a little bit more of a solid purpley color. Has all its stones. Very pretty gift, especially if you know somebody that loves purple. And once again, also great with um, nice nice uh, solid colored outfit or even um, something with color too. Okay, let's pull out a couple more boxes. These ones, some of them have their invoices, maybe. So that one, that was number what, 70? Forget how quick I hit, 78. So this is gonna be number 79. I just um, number these while I have them up here. 
Okay, number 79. Oh, these are really pretty. Look at the bling on those. Those are gorgeous. Those would be really nice with, uh, if you had a, 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 like a holiday party to go to, a wedding, or if you're just a blingy person. And those are, those are really good length. Let me see how long they dangle. So they're dangling about three inches down. Very, very nice. And they are silver toned post earrings. Very pretty. $5 for those two. And those are number 79. All right, let's see if this invoice is accurate here. So any of you that are new, um, I bought up a um, uh, storage, this, this gentleman that I know that buys up storage lockers and he doesn't deal in jewelry. So whenever he comes across jewelry, he asks me if I'm interested in them. Um, and this is not the invoice for these because the invoice is for some type of diamond ring. So, it is not this item. These are just like that last pair, but they're in green instead of the blue. Lots of like a deep emerald all the way down to like a peridot, um, soft color green. Very pretty. Also about three inches long. And these are actually gold tone. The last ones were silver tone. These are gold tone, which goes really good with the green. Okay. And then that was number 80. This is number 81. And I do want to test the um, I do want to test the eyes on these kitties. Look at these. This is a cute little kitty pen in a gold tone, kitty brooch. And let's make sure the pen works, which I'm sure it does since it's brand new. And I'm not seeing offhand any markings, right? No, let's see if their eyes are stones because they have little green colored eyes. Maybe, maybe not. And keep in mind, this machine doesn't pick up every stone in the world, so. But it's not even moving. So I'm not sure, they're, they may just be a little plastic. I don't know, but it's not moving the needle at all. But they're little green emerald colored eyes. Cute little, there we go. Cute little kitty brooch. And there's it in my palm so you can see how big it is. Oh, do they have little, they do have little, there's a little clear stone in between each one. How cute, let me do the clear stone. I just saw that in the light. Uh, the little clear stone's going up. It's right in the middle of, where's it going? Maybe. It was going up and now it's not. I don't know if I can get on it again. Well, it's not a diamond. I'm not sure what it is, but there's a little clear stone there. And that is number 81. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. Okay. Um, let's see, here's a little ring box. Let's see what's in this one. We'll do this one as number 82. Just number these up next coming ones. There we go. All right, so. Oh, these are earrings. They're in a little ring box, but they're earrings. Let's see if this tells what they are. Rhodium plated, stainless steel. I don't know if that's, I don't think that was for that. I think that was actually for a ring that's in there. The little description. So these are just some really pretty, I'll just take the one out. Oh, those are really nice. Look how pretty those are. Very nice 
stone. They they almost like um they almost look like maybe a carrot and a half in size. Uh, post earring. Yep, they're just CZs. And there is a pair. I don't know if uh, what the the base metal is, if it's sterling or anything like that. I'm looking to see if I see any markings. Offhand, I'm not seeing any with my naked eye, but very pretty post earrings. Five dollars. Put those back in their box. And those were number 82. Okay, number 83. Oops. Oh, this is really pretty. And this is marked. Let me see what it's marked. Because I hit my head on the camera. 925. So it's sterling silver um, with a gold overlay. And it's a key. Let me test those stones in there, too, to see what they are. It's a key with like a... A clear stone at the top. Very pretty. Let's see if they're little diamond chips or not. If I can get on one of them. Oops, come on. Yes, those are little diamond chips. So the this one will be ten dollars as well because it is sterling silver and it does have the little the little diamond chips um, in the top of the key. Okay. So, and it is um, it is a gold overlay as well over top of that that sterling. So, put that back in the box, and that is number eighty three. Number eighty four. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see, um, one carat weight round diamond, 18 carat yellow gold over brass bracelet. So let's test it and see. Yep, they are registering as diamonds. So there is the bracelet. Very pretty. And this one is going to be 15. Can you see that? And then let's measure this and see how long it is. And it does have a safety clasp on it as well. Um, it is measuring just under total with the, with the uh, clasp included. It's measuring just under 8 inches at 7.75, um, 7 3 fourths. Um, and that's including that. So, but you could probably, let me see, you could probably have some links taken out of it if you wanted to. And the description, where did I see the description on this one? Oh, it was on the bag. Was one carat weight round diamond, 18 carat gold bracelet over, uh, over brass. once again that one is 15. Very nice bracelet especially um, it's a nice size too. That way you can either get it sized number 84 or um, if you need a little bit of a, a larger bracelet a lot of them tend to be like seven inches so it's nice when they're a little bit bigger. Um, these are the same type of earrings as the last ones. Same size, very pretty. And these ones are going to be number 85. Same size and everything. All right, let me pull out a few more boxes. I see another bracelet box some with invoices. I think we might maybe get through this whole bin. All right, so let me number these. That was, the last one was 85, so this is gonna be 86, 87, 88, 
Okay, so I got next few numbered. Number 86. Ah, very pretty. Let's see. I'm hoping maybe this one is a... Uh, maybe it's sterling and amethyst. Let's see. It doesn't say on the tag. Let's test it. Um, are there other little stones? It looks like there's other little stones, maybe. Let me look and see. No, just the main center stone. Okay, so let's try the, the center stones here and see what they register at. And they are amethyst. And let's see if it says sterling or anything anywhere on it. And then I will measure it. Yes, it is marked 925 on the the lobster clasp right there. So 925 and amethyst bracelet. Let's measure it. And it is measuring at seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches. And you know what? This is a pretty lightweight bracelet. Um, we'll, I'll stick with the $5 on this one. I don't want to keep changing the price too much on you guys from my $5 sale. So, all right. And that one was number 86. Here's number 87. Oh, it's another gold chain. Very similar to, I think, the last one we had. Also stainless steel marked. Um, this one looks maybe like it's even shorter. Let me see. No, this one's also 18 inches. It looks so much shorter than 18 inches. But... No, yes, this one, yeah, I'm sorry. This one's like 16, 16 inch. There we go quickly measured it before. I measured it quicker that time, or slower that time. There's the detail on it. All right, $5 for that chain. And that was number 87. Here is number 88. Um, this is also a nice bracelet. Let's see if it is marked anywhere. Um, I'm not seeing a marking. Oh, there we go. Here's one. What does that say? Yep, it is sterling. It says 925. And let's just test the stones to see what they are. It looks like they're going to be in the topaz. Oops. So they are blue topaz. Right, let's see, here it goes. Okay, blue topaz, 925. Let's measure it. Sticking with the $5 on that one. And it is also seven and a half inches. Okay. And that was number 88. All right, this one has an invoice. Let's see what the invoice says. Um, hmm. Let's see if that's what it actually is. This is number 89. Oh, okay. So this, this is what the other ones were, the other couple of pairs were. And this says 12.84 total care weight, white diamond simulant rhodium over sterling silver earring set. So those last ones were also sterling silver then probably because these are these are almost identical. So all right. Put those back in and that was number 89. Here's another big box. Let's do number 90 on this big box. And if it's a small piece of jewelry and you don't want this big huge 
box let me know oh this is pretty let's see yeah you don't really need this ginormous box um this don't know if uh i don't want to open it because like it's in a really nice nicely wrapped so i don't know what it if it's marked anything or not let's see if i can see anything on that tag now it almost has like a very um opalescent looking center stone a bow up here with some um, cz's and then around this teardrop shape as well i don't know how long the chain is um but it's probably a little bit of a longer chain because it is pretty long looking and it's a little twisted around here but five dollars for that really pretty piece and it's a, a rather large size so there's my palm nice statement piece of jewelry and that is number 90. Let me just remember these next few. Okay, number 91. This big, big box for these tiny earrings. Another pair of um, really pretty stud earrings with, um, these are a little bit smaller than those last pair. These are more like a, a carrot size. Let's test those. Those have, those are really, those have really nice fire to them. They're also just CZs. Very, very pretty though. Five dollars, and those are. Oh, there's nothing else in there. No. Okay. And then what did I say? Those were number ninety-one. Okay. This one has an invoice. Let's see if the invoice is correct on it. The invoice on this one says electric blue topaz let's see yep oh okay so this is for any of you that make jewelry this is just a blue topaz electric blue topaz it has the sticker there 1.67 carats so it's a loose topaz and um five dollars for this loose topaz very pretty you could have it made into something if that's your birthstone you make jewelry that's perfect for you. Loose topaz. Oops. And it's um, 1.67 carats. Okay. Number 92. And let's see what this one says. Number 93. This is... Uh, created orange sapphire 1.29 carats so also a loose stone an orange sapphire it's, it's got a really pretty square shape to it um, lab created five dollars somebody is at my door <laughs> so the dogs are gonna bark number 93 for that one okay Now this next one, oh no, one of them is broken. Ugh. Well, I'm not gonna put the broken one in there. There was three of them, but this one, when I opened it, is broken. So I will package these much better. Um, I'll bubble wrap them individually when I send them out. I'll put the broken one in there in case somebody, I mean, you could probably, I don't know, maybe you could fix that. I'm hesitant to put that in there. I don't want somebody to get, uh, I'm not going to, never mind. I'm not going to put it in there because I'm not going to have somebody get hurt or not realize that I said it was broken. So you'll get an extra necklace, but you'll get two um, of the glass charm, pendant charms. So two pendant charms, three necklaces in various colors and 
They're very pretty. Five dollars for that. And this one is going to be, I believe, number 94. Let me make sure now that I got sidetracked on that. Yes, 94. Number 94 for two um, glass pendants. Number 95. Let's do that one. Number 95 has the invoice. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it says it is. It says, oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. Off Park Collection White Crystal Gold Tone Multi Layer Necklace. And I did, I, I, I looked at this one and I thought, okay. Oh, whoops, sorry. Move the camera. I thought, where, where could I wear this to? Because <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, so here is, it, it just goes around your neck. It's stretchy like that, okay? So here's the part that goes around your neck with those really pretty stones. And then this multi-layer hangs down. So, so pretty. Look at that. It would be gorgeous with even just a simple black dress for an evening out. You could wear it to work with a you know a nice nice blouse like white blouse or something like that. But um, because it's not too formal looking, but it is it's definitely a statement piece. And this is um, a little bit longer. The multi layers, isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. Um. And this necklace, this necklace actually, I'm going to do 10 on because um, it is, it, it has a very nice weight to it. Very, very, very pretty. Um, white crystal gold tone multi -layer. That's what it says. It's just a really, really pretty piece. All right. That was number 95. See what we have in these little guys here. We've got a couple, a couple of these little. Well, you know, before I get, I have a couple of the, uh, quite a few of these little bags here, like you would find the um, Asian style bag, Oriental style. But I got a few more boxes left, so let me just pull out the boxes with their invoices. And now I'm like, I'm left with just a box full of random invoices. These in this pink box. We're going to do that first. And this pink box is going to be number 96. It's multicolor chroma Austrian crystal set of five interchangeable rose earrings in stainless steel. Um, and I said this was going to be number 96. And what it is, um, it's these really pretty post earrings. And I'm not sure why they have them described that way. Actually, there's only one, two, three, there's only four pairs of them. This, it says five. I don't know. Let me see. Somebody maybe took out a, a pair of them because there's only five pairs. So the other one, maybe, I don't know had the crystal interchangeable part around it. But right now these are just four pairs of rose earrings. Um, but they are on stainless steel. Yeah, multicolored chroma. It doesn't say anything, there's nothing in there that's crystally. So $5 for four pairs of earrings of the roses. And this next one, this is heavy. Oh, I forgot that. It goes with that. This next one does have an invoice. Um, let me see what that says. Oh, yes. This is a, I did take a look at this. This is also for somebody who either likes to do jewelry or knows somebody that can make something into something because it is just blue turquoise jasper composite bead strand, round, 16 inches, approximately 235 carat, nine millimeter, 
TGW 265 carats. So $5 for these blue turquoise Jasper composite bead strand. So, I mean, that would make a great necklace or even, you know, a nice multi-layer bracelet. But they are this nice, pretty turquoise teal color with um, almost like a, a, a golden or mustardy, coppery colored variegation in them. So they're, and they're, they're a nice weight too. For $5, if you or somebody you know can make something out of it, that would be great. Number 97. But they are currently not something you can wear. You definitely have to make something out of it. Okay. This next one also has an invoice. Oh, it is another bracelet. Let's see what it says on the invoice. This is, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, this is a gold tone bracelet with multicolored stones. Mozambique garnet, sky blue topaz, amethyst citrine, hebe peridot diamond bracelet in 14 karat yellow gold overlay, sterling silver, nickel free, 7.25 inches. And this one is gonna be 10 as well. Um, actually, this one, actually, uh, yeah, I'll do it for 10. Um, it is marked 925, has all those really pretty stones. Let's just test one and see what it, well, of course I'd go onto the one that's probably a peridot, but. That one went to the citrine line. See if these are, if I can get on these little tiny guys here. No, it's hard to get on those little ones, but the, the invoice was very specific <laughs> as to what those were. So we'll do $10 on that one. Um, like I said, it's got uh, garnet, topaz, amethyst, citrine, peridot, and diamond in a 14 karat gold over stainless steel, I mean sterling. Okay, so that one is um, number 98, and that one was $10. I will keep the invoice with that one. so that we know what those stones were. Okay, moving along here. Now we're down to these little Asian bags. And I don't know if that's what's in here or not. Okay. Oh yeah, so this one, one of them broke. So if you are into red stones in any sort of way, these are Enhanced Coral Red Glass Seed Bead Bracelets. Set of two in stainless steel, and the other one is Howlite Blue Glass Seed Beads. How, how light blue glass, how light must be, I'm thinking it's this, this part on the red one. This is how light here. Um, and this one is just blue, blue glass beads. That's really pretty though. Look at the shine on that. It's too bad that the other one is broken, but if you are handy and can fix it, either way, you're getting two of them for $5. And I will number the back of these bags. I'm just gonna do, on these, I'm just gonna do 100, number 100, not $100, $5, but that's number 100. Um, Let's see what's in, there's a couple invoices here, so I'll see what's in these bags and if they match up with the invoices. Okay, so this is also some loose stones. Let's see if it says what these are. No. It does not say what these are. They're cold to the touch gorgeous stones. If you can make something out of these, 
it would make such a pretty necklace, wouldn't it? Um, so they are beads that need to be made into something else. They are really cool to the touch and $5 for the pink. This one will be, um, I'm gonna number, you know, there's not a sticker on it, so let me number this part here as 101. 101. Okay. Variegated pink stones, loose stones. Um, let's see, this one here is gonna be number 102. 102. And it looks like there's some fuzzies on some fuzzies on these. Hold on, some like black fuzzies. If I can get them off, okay. It's almost like somebody tried it on with a fuzzy sweater or something because there's like black fuzz on them. All right, these look like tiger's eye or some type of jasper. Let me see if there's see if there's like fuzzies up here too attached to the. All right, let me see if it's in this invoice here. No, it's not in this one. Very pretty though, crystal type beading and then these tiger eye looking stones down here and then some, some faux pearls, I'm assuming they're faux pearls. Hmm. I don't know, they might not be. Mm, maybe. Can't tell. Multi-strand, really pretty statement piece necklace. $5 for that one. Oh, and you know where these fuzzies are coming from? Probably from the inside of this bag. <laughs> because it's one of these bags that is uh, embroidered. Number 102. This one is 103, and we got one more bag after that. Let's see. Another one of these necklaces. And this one instead has purple stones. I'll just test, test these beads and see what they are, if they're anything. Oh, the beads went up. There you are up in that amethyst line there. So, maybe they are real pearls in there. I don't know, man-made but it's a multi-strand crystal style with that same clasp, the vintage clasp, vintage looking clasp that I can't get back in. There we go. <laughs> Very nice and secure, multi-strand, four strands, amethyst. And I don't know, I don't think that there was an invoice for this one. Let me look. That one doesn't have an invoice, so I'll just get rid of those. All right, let's see what the last one is, if it's something similar. That one is number 103, and this last one is gonna be number 104. Um, yeah, very similar. This one looks like it's got some pink quartz, very pretty pink quartz type stone. Let's see if it registers as anything. It's up in that jadeite spinel line. It's, is it going higher than that quartz line? It is going higher than the quartz amethyst citrine line. Let me see if it goes back down. But it looks like pink quartz to me. Very pretty. Cold to the touch. Same really nice crystal faux pearl or real pearl, and then the quartz type pink stone, and that same vintage style clasp. Very nice. $5 for that one as well. And that's it. That's the end of my, my sale that I have for everything that I got from the storage lockers, or storage locker from that gentleman. And I wish I had more because it was so much fun going through that. 
thanks so much for anybody that stayed tuned and watched through all of my box sale. I'll be back again with another uh, Goodwill type bag or Salvation Army bag. Um, I have so much jewelry to go through and get rid of. I have um, more rings and things like that that I've come across recently as well. So I look forward to going through all that with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in anything, just email me at bevintage74 at gmail.com and I will get it out to you. And if you had any shipments that were waiting for this sale to go out, let me know if there was anything in this sale that you wanted. If not, let me know if you're good to go and shipping your other stuff out. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay beautiful.